Well, we're back again. Hallelujah. 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 We're back again. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're back. We're back again. Yes. Yes. Come on in. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory yes, to Lord. God. Bless, bless, bless us to everybody once again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessings, Ashley. Hello, everybody. Join in. Yes, thank you, Father. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. How about now? Oh, yeah. yes. Uh, we can hear now. We can hear you. <laughs> yes, Lord. The devil is a whole lot. <laughs> Listen. Lord. We know we're gonna tear the kingdom kingdom of darkness down on tonight because see we're gonna serve him notice tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once again, we thank everybody for their patience. Yes, Lord. Their prayers. We yes. are alive. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. With with, with, with pastor and prophetess uh seer scoops. Yes. We're finna get started yes. right now. Yes, Lord. So so Yom, Yom Kippur, yes, Lord. Yom Kippur, the prophetic significance of it. Yes, Lord. Pastor, what is the Lord saying to you in this hour uh, uh, about Yom Kippur? <laughs> yes, Lord. Thank you for, first off, thank you all for having us. We give honor to the most high for being the head of our lives. Yes. yes. With that being said, um, you know, the prayer has already gone forth. And so in this hour, I think... What we want everyone to know is that Yom Kippur is a time of repentance. Yes, Lord. Right? Yes. Folks ask the question, well, what does repentance look like? Repentance looks like telling the Almighty, you know what, Father? I have no excuses. I was wrong. And yes. your, your will is perfect. I got to do better. I will do better. Yes. And uh, that is what repentance looks like. Yes. And the Bible says that David was a man of the God's own heart. He mm -hmm. was all the things that he did because he had enough common sense that after he got done doing yes. whatever ridiculousness, whatever sins, whatever murder, whatever it may have been, pornography, murder, oh my God, you name it, he did. Come on, right? talk about it. He had enough common That's sense for the father to say, Father, I'd rather be judged by you than to be put in the hands of men because... Yes. Ooh, men can be trifling. Men yeah. can be wrong. Listen, men will crucify you and, and be like, uh, come on. Right? right? Come on. Same thing, if not worse. Right. And, and, and so, but here it is. He stated, Father, forgive me for what I have done. Right. Yes, Lord. He didn't go back and do it again. That is the ultimate idea or replica of what repentance looks like. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Not only so, right, but then, you know, we talked before in regards to Jesus on the cross said, Father, forgive them. Yes. For not what they do. He the Father to forgive those same people, to forgive us even right now today. Yes, Lord. No, he was the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah. Right. So now that right there is really where I want to go because I want people to really understand the significance in this coming up 24-hour period. Yes, mm. Lord. Yes. Oh Atonement means the at one meant to be at one. This is where we afflict our souls. Yes, Lord. And, and, and to sacrifice our our thoughts, our wants, our wishes mm -hmm. to be with him. Yes. Yes. There's 24 hours of just selflessness. Come on. About. And so that's why the Bible says, listen, you gotta afflict your soul. Right? Because mm -hmm. it, as human beings, we are emotional creatures. Right. It feels good. We go right. where we feel right. Right? <laughs> like, 
everything that makes our flesh feel good is what we want to dictate to. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know? Yes, yes. My God. But so, you know, we talked about Le Leviticus, the 23rd chapter, right, where it talks specifically about this feast, right? Mm -hmm. but, but what I also want to look at is Ezekiel, the 18th chapter, verses 3 and 4. Perfect thing. It I'll talks do. about all souls belonging to God. Come on now. Can we Maybe get God, did you say Ezekiel 18, 3, 3 through 4? Yes, eight, the 18th chapter, verses 3 and 4. Uh, oh. uh, I got it. I put it up there. I put it up there. So I put it up there. I did. Okay, thank you. I was right. going to have Kathy do it. Okay. And so it talks about how all souls belong to the Almighty. Right. right? The Father as well as his descendants, right? And any soul that is not right, it will die. It will be cut mm. off. Ooh. Right? And, and, and so, here we go. Yeah, the, the, the fourth verse says, Behold, I read it all. As I live, saith the Lord God, you shall not have any more to use this proverb in Israel. Behold, all souls are mine. Hallelujah. As I'm mine. So also the soul of the son is mine. Mm -hmm. the soul that it shall die. Yeah. Right? And mm -hmm. so then now we look at Psalms, the 47th chapter, mm -hmm. verses 7 and 8. Let me get somebody to put that up there as well, too, so the people of God can follow. Psalms 47, verses 7 and 8. Perfect. Oh, my goodness, this is good. Thank you. And it says, for God is the king of all the earth. Yes, yeah. Lord. He praises with understanding. God reigneth over the heathen. God sitteth up upon the throne of his holiness. Yes, yes. Lord. Listen, we got to understand that he is holy. His word is holy, right? Yes, so the scriptures that we're reading, it's righteousness. It's holy. Come it's on. Come on, Pastor. My God. That we lean not to our, under, our own understanding. Right. right? rely on his yes lord and so ooh, this is good now we go here again to leviticus the 19th chapter uh-huh verses one and two yes lord and it says and the lord spake unto moses saying speak unto all the congregation of the children of israel mm -hmm. and ye shall be holy for yeah. i the your god am holy come on you shall fear every man his mother, is that where we supposed to go? No, 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 no. It's just one and two, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. So, so, so it was just, just one and two, mm -hmm. right? So, but letting us know that we got to be holy because God is holy. Right, yeah. come on. So, so come on. this time that we are in, uh, we got to understand that, ooh, this is good. So here we go. I took notes already. <laughs> I took notes already. And so what we got to understand is that, ooh, during this time. Yes, Lord that could take care of sin before Jesus came on the scene mm -hmm. that could be a blood sacrifice come on this right here is the reason why here we go again every year on Yom Kippur the high priest had to go into the inner courts the holy of holies yeah right and they had to kill whatever animal it was right mm -hmm. and put the blood on the yeah. mercy Come on. It was Come on. in the Ark of the Covenant. Come on now. Yeah. And so we understood that. Here we go. There had to be a blood offering. Yeah. Right? And, and see, this right is the part that people don't realize. No knock on any other religion, but let's talk for a second. Oh, These man. Hippies, they don't do nothing, right? Uh, uh, just going to church and singing in the choir, it doesn't do anything. Come on. Come on. Going to church because you said you went doesn't Come count. Come on, yeah. Listen, we have to understand that praying alone is not good enough, and these rituals and whatnot they don't work. But Come the Lord on, Lord my God, the heart. He wants us to give him a life, right? No, but yeah, to live a life that is deserving of him. Mm. Right? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Well, again, Leviticus, the seventeenth chapter. Mm -hmm. And the eleventh verse, and I listen. I know everybody's saying, "Listen, we are we're in the uh, the Old Testament a lot, 
but but guess what? It's about to get better. We're gonna hit the old and the new. Come because on, come on. <laughs> flow, flow, flow. <laughs> If people don't yeah. understand, they, mm -hmm. they think because, you know, we are keeping the Sabbath and, you know, we are doing the holy days that we are in the Old Testament and that the Old Testament We're is done in fact. Mm -hmm. like right. Christ That's like break it down. Come to destroy the law. What is come the on. His word? Come it's on. his word. He said, but I come to fulfill it. Fulfill it. The last puzzle piece so my people can connect the dots mm -hmm. and they can know the mysteries of me. Yes. Come on. Yes, Lord. Say that. I'm on fire yes. right now. Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. Leviticus, the 17th chapter and the 11th verse. Yes, Lord. Leviticus 17, verse 11. Yes, Lord. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. Uh oh. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. A moment, okay? Yeah. So, so, for the life of the flesh is in the blood, mm -hmm. and I put it upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. Catch that in the spirit. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the souls. Catch that in the spirit. Now, I didn't make this up. Y'all are reading it right along with me. Catch that in the spirit. What, 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 is, what is Christ saying? What is Christ saying? That my, my flesh... Yes, Lord. In the blood, the blood right. that is I have given it to you. Yeah, the life. Upon the yes, altar. Lord. What was the altar? Okay, we, what can we call the altar? Calvary, where he was hung at. Mm -hmm. Come on. Altar of, of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Where did he? Oh, my, my, my. Ooh, so she, you gotta, you gotta, she. Come on. My God. What do you, what, where, where do they bring the sacrifices to? Mm -hmm. An altar. Mm. Catch the people ain't catching this word. Oh. Now, oh, God's quickening his people in this hour. Yeah. He's quickening his people in this, in this hour. And, and, and I'm telling you, only the ones that have the spirit of God yeah. are going to be quickened in his word. Mm. Oh, my God. This is they're going to be quickened in his word. Mm -hmm. yes, he Lord. said, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. Yeah. Yes. And I have given it to you. Upon the altar to make an atonement. What My is an God. atonement? What, what is an atonement? An atonement is basically saying, I've redeemed you. I've paid the My price. God. Right? Yes, and that's why we say, listen, you were not bought by an animal's blood. Not at all. But oh. by the blood of Christ, the Redeemer. The Messiah. It's us. be and is again. Girl, you better start playing. <laughs> okay, and, so, and, 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 and let me finish. I'm sorry, Pastor. The altar to make an atonement for your souls. My so God. What, what, I, what, what, I'm, what I'm getting from this is that mm -hmm. God is saying, let, let me go ahead and take care of this let me come into an agreement mm -hmm. with heaven for your souls come on let me go yes. ahead and bankrupt where i sit at mm. with my blood because my blood alone That's good. is That's power good. yes it's gonna Lord. break everything it's gonna it's gonna make this atonement mm -hmm. it's gonna take everything because my blood is power yes my Lord. Blood alone is power mm. this is good. he said for your souls. Yes. My, my, my. So, so, so let's go here. Ephesians, the first chapter, verse uh -huh. seven. My God. My God. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 1. Yes, verse 7. Blessings. Um, I, I thought I just saw her. Blessings, uh, Prophetess Karima. How you doing, sister? I know I just saw her come on. Mm -hmm. Um, so you Ephesians. said what is it? Ephesians. Yes. You go ahead. Mm. Been, right. mm. Ephesians what? First chapter and seventh verse. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. <laughs> Here we go. Here it is. Now, we said the old, but wait for the new. And Come it on. says, In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin. Through who blood? His blood. Not goats. His blood. Not goats. Blood. Mm. Not goats. Not Ooh. not a uh, blood, but his blood. Yes. 
according to the riches of his grace. Yes, Lord. Okay, so so now let's go here really quickly. Revelations, the twelfth chapter. Mm, come on here. I hope y'all taking notes on time. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, I took and he backing it up with scripture too. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> because it goes hand in hand yeah it goes hand in hand so revelation is the 12th chapter verses 10 and 11. Mm. my 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 hallelujah jesus, jesus. Yeah. hallelujah my god so revelation is the 12th chapter verse 10 and 11 says and i heard a loud voice saying in heaven now is come salvation and strength yeah the lord our God and the power of his Christ. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. For the accuser of our brother yes. is cast down. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Who is the accuser? Uh oh. Say, say. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's cast down. Okay, but but let's uh -oh. speak on let's speak on this though. Okay. okay? So we got we gotta understand the accuser spirit. We gotta uh -huh. understand the spirit that run rapid on Facebook, that Come run on. Instagram. Yes. We got to identify this spirit because guess what? This is not what we're supposed to be doing. Come on here. Brothers and sisters in Christ, if we are the body of Christ, why are we accusing the brethren? Uh oh. Jesus. What, what, what Satan do? Satan. Jesus. My God. Go <laughs> oh, on here. God accusing the brethren like, oh, they slipped up. So I told you oh, they was going to mess up. They messed no. up. So but keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> they, they, because it says day and night. Day and night. He stayed in the face of the Almighty. Day and night. Now we, we talk about we, what y'all we, 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 we got some people that are in the body that is holding on to this accusing spirit. Come on, Lord. Come before God praying. Oh my God. Visual, they want to blast out what they didn't did, but instead of them blasting out what the what the person did, tell what you did. That's a accusing. On. Because mm -hmm. guess what? You we have been redeemed. Yes, we have Lord. been forgiven. Come on. We have been forgiven, and you don't know what nobody's doing in their four walls to say that they have not repented. Come on here. Yes, well, we, we're not uh, the accuser. We mm. are not Satan. Are you carrying the, the spirit of, of Satan? Mm. Come on. Are we are the repairer of, of the priest. priest. Right. But are you the son of the priest? Come on. Right. <laughs> are you the son of perdition? Are you, are you holding hands for them? Jesus. Is that who you are? Listen, My I'm on fire. I'm bringing this word. We bring it. Yes, Lord. My we bring God. it. God. God. We, we got the body of Christ got to change. We got to change how we do Ooh. stuff. How we approach stuff. We can't speak everything that comes to our mind. Come on, yes, yes Lord. Lord. Only a fool utters his whole mind. Come on. About everything that comes to his mind. Come on. That's why the father's shutting it down. Come on I'm here. Sorry, Pastor, forgive no, me. No, no, listen. Please. I, I'll have no issues, right? Yes, Lord. My Jesus. God. The word continues to say, for the accuser of our brethren <laughs> is cast down, oh which accused them before our God. But watch Ooh. this. Right. Not. But watch this. And they <laughs> overcame. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord. So, so why they want to talk about people who fall in and sin, but guess what? Little do they know that's part of their testimony. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Little, little do they know it's part of their testimony. Uh oh. Because guess what? If it had not, it would have not been. Yeah. Because guess what? God said in his word, when temptation comes, he gives us a way to escape. Dang, it wasn't here. part of your Jeremiah 29 and 11. Guess what? God would have not allowed it. My God. He would have not allowed it. See, what the people don't understand, daughter, that the father is a master strategist. Yes. This is how you can tell the wheat from the tares. Oh, oh. my God. Listen. This is part of people's testimonies. When, when they go. fall, but Come when they, they rise back up, guess yeah. what? This how this how we give the devil a smack in the face. Come Not on here. Everybody seeing. Oh my God. It's they over they Come he on. He said, and they overcame him by the blood of blood the Lamb. Hallelujah. Say that. Come on. By 
by his blood. Once again, we've been talking about the blood now. And by the words of their testimony. Yes, Lord. What is a testimony? Oh. oh. Can, can we can we talk about a testimony? Well, I'm going to talk about my testimony a little bit. Break, break it down. Not pain. Because mm -hmm. the blood that was marked on me. Because oh. of the blood of Jesus that is marked on me. Marked yes, on my Lord. life. Yes, Lord. So I overcame for being a stripper, not just being a stripper, but a drug dealer, but Come not on. just a drug dealer, a drug user, a yes, prostitute. Lord. Yeah, God. Come on. My God. My God. But they don't Come understand. On. They don't understand even the lifestyle. But we said this on the last line, the lifestyle Jesus. of the apostles that he had picked. And I had a question. I said, Lord, why you didn't pick nobody that was in the synagogue that said they knew you? Oh. Come so on. why did you pick a sinner to walk with you hand in hand? Ooh. Oh, my God. You, you, listen, you know why? Because these ones that think they know God, they don't know God. Come. They think full of self-righteousness. God Come like here. God. With like, all these no. Pharisees and Sadducees out here? He said, he uh -huh. said no. We I'm know a, who the, we I'm know these ones. I'm going to come to these ones that need help. Because yes, that's where they got it together. They don't need my help. Come on here. They don't need all, my, we call them know it alls. You know right. everything. You don't need the father. I only know it alls out here. The father's in the bush you upside your head. Listen, it's just like when uh the tax collector, who was the tax collector, baby? Uh -oh. Matthew. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. Matthew. Right. So you had the one that was like a uh <laughs> the one who who swore he knew God. He he lifted his eyes up with pride. Ooh. And said, thank you, God, that I am not like the tax collectors or these us in, in X, Y, and Zs. But Matthew, he didn't even look to heaven because he was a sinner. But he, the father he didn't even used look. Him. But the father still him. used him. But you know why he used him? Because he was meek in heart. His heart was humble. He knew that he needed God. See, these people be so puffed up. They be puffed up. They don't yeah. need Yep, that's it. They that's don't need God. Come on. Woo. And God ain't, de God ain't dealing with the people who don't need him. Come on. Come on. My God. Yes, Away Lord. with it, Satan. Away Come from on. me. Yes, Lord. Because when that time comes, he's going to be like, I never knew you. Knew me. Come but on. You don't need me. Yes, Lord. Come on. Speak, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Don't tell them that. So we got to patch it up, body of Christ. Come on. And he said, um, and by their words of their testimony, and they love yeah. not their lives until death. Like My we, God. we got to patch it up. Woo. We got to patch it up. We should not be out here thinking like we are better than someone. Ought to be mm. thinking highly of ourselves. We have to remain in a humble place. Humble. My God. Say that God. again rappers at each other mm -hmm. like like y'all some 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 thieves trying to rob people you know sticking people up stop stop doing all of that because god is not pleased with all of that mess come because who is your enemy come on it's not your brother and sister it's whatever demonic spirit that is at work and if you have power and if oh, you have the God. anointing the anointing God. is what destroys the yokes yes lord it's Did the you know? anointing that destroys it. Or so why are we going back and forth on, on Facebook? Why are we going back and forth on Instagram? Why are we going back and forth on these platforms? Why are we going back and forth in these churches? Mm. It's no way. Mm. God they, act put like, they, they act like gang members. They act just like it's gang just members. No and way. God is putting an end to it. God is really showing people who know him and who don't. That's it. Why? My God. It talks about charity. Love. <laughs> love looks like something. We're about to go to that one. No, 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 no. That, that's not even here for the night. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Lord. <laughs> I just thought that's home. Understanding the blood. Yes, yeah. Sir. We can go there if you want to, but yes, I don't think that's the purpose. I mean, yes. how we're gonna let the Holy Ghost use this way. Have this <laughs> way. That's right. That's oh, right. Talks about charity being in love. Love looks like something. It does. Right? So no. Here we go. We already have the accuser mm -hmm. right doing his job. We don't have to give him any assistance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let him do his thing and let him suffer in eternity where he will reign. Come on. Oh my, in God. Hell. my God. It's okay. But he will be there suffering. 
But in the meantime, we don't want to join them. So let's do our poll. <laughs> me but you know what let's pray and, and let, let, let's get over this let's address this spirit right because we understand things. we rest not against flesh and blood for real i mean we may want to but listen right it's the spirit that the adversary is being allowed to be used yeah i'm sorry it is us that is allowing the adversary to use whatever spirit he can mm -hmm. there we go that sounds better Right, but now here we go. Hebrews, the ninth chapter. Yeah. Hey. Nine. Yes, this, ooh, this is good. Ooh, my God. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Mm -hmm. Verse mm -hmm. through 14 and, and 23 and 24. Yes, Lord. Two through 14. Okay, hold on. Okay, let me and then 23 and 24. Yes, Lord. Perfect. Okay, and then you said 23, mm -hmm. and what's that going And 24. Okay. Yes, Lord. This is good. So, let's, yeah, let's get it. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, know this is long, but guess what? The Almighty's Word is good all by itself. Mm -hmm. yes. Hallelujah. You know, it, time frame, but the Holy Ghost has this I love it. And it says, for there was a tabernacle made, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. was the candlestick, and the table, and the showbread, which is called the sanctuary. Uh -huh. And after the second veil, the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all, which had the golden censer and the Ark of the Covenant, overlaid round about with gold, wherein was the golden pot that had manna and Aaron's rod that budded, uh -huh. they blossomed. Okay? And the tables of the covenant, what is that? The Ten Commandments, the tables of stone, right? That God mm -hmm. gave at Mount Sinai, all right? Mm -hmm. And verse five says, and over it the cherubims of glory shadowing the mercy seat, of which we cannot now speak particularly. Mm -hmm. Okay, that says a lot by itself already. But here we go, verse six. Now when these things were thus ordained, the priest went always into the first tabernacle, accomplishing the service of God. Mm -hmm. but Second, with the high priest alone, once every year, not without blood, which he offered for himself and for the errors of the people. Yes, Lord. Verse 8 says, the Holy Ghost. She said, say the scripture are, again. There, say again. They need the scripture again, I think. Okay. Um, Hebrews chapter 9, 4, I mean, 2 through uh, 14. Mm -hmm. And also Hebrews chapter 9, 23 through 24. Right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Where we were at. We're okay. at right now we're at verse 8. Okay. Verse 8. Mm -hmm. And it says, the Holy Ghost, this signifying that the way into the holiest of all was not yet made manifest. Uh-huh. First yeah. tabernacle was yet standing. Uh -huh. Which was a figure for the time then present. Mm -hmm. in offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the sacrifice perfect mm -hmm. to the conscience my god our thoughts our mind right 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 it says which stood only in meats and drinks and divers washings and carnal ordinances imposed on them until the time of reformation yes lord but Christ being come the high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, uh -huh. not that is to say, not of this building. Uh -huh. yes, Lord. By the blood of goats, uh -huh. but by his own blood. Hallelujah. And once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Yes, Lord. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer, sprinkling the unclean, sanctified to the purifying of the flesh, uh -huh. right? How much more shall the blood of Christ, uh -huh. who through the eternal spirit offered himself without God. God, purge your conscience. Oh my God. My God. Wow. Living God. You hear that? My God. Purge right. Your 
conscience okay from dead work okay to mm. serve come on now here's what three verse 23 says it was therefore necessary that the patterns of things in the heavens should be purified by i'm sorry with these uh -huh. but the things themselves with better sacrifices than these yes mm -hmm. yes I entered into the holy place made with hands, which are the figures of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. So this thing is much deeper. Yes, sir. Yes. It's, it's much deeper because one of the things he says was not made with men's hands. Yes. Uh -oh. yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. My God. So, so so this is this is more spiritual than yes, it is. Mm. <laughs> this is why God said he don't dwell in temples come on. made with come on. men's hands. Come on. He Paul also said, Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. So people in this yeah. hour and in this season, it is a necessity that this temple, come on. that this tabernacle yes, must be purified. Come on. Earth. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. My, my. Yes, Lord. My, my, my. Hey! Yes, Lord. My God. Get this right here, and this is, this is, Ooh. this is why the Holy Ghost told me this morning. Yes, Lord. He said, tell the people tonight that this is the hour with a purge. Yes, it is. Come on. He said, oh, y'all better hear. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. He said, this is the hour with a purge. Everything that's in you that's not of him come on. needs to come out. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And um, mm, my God, go ahead, go ahead. So Lord. if this tabernacle is going to glorify God, this tabernacle must be purged. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my God, go ahead, Apostle. What I wanted to, <laughs> I, what I wanted to include, Apostle. Yeah. That when you do this atonement, don't just do it just for these twenty-four hours and go back to your body. Uh oh, oh. Because I'm telling you, oh. I'm telling you. If y'all had not been paying attention, the Father is calling people up out of here Woo. quickly. Woo. Quickly. I'm telling you, this is a daily walk. This ain't no one day I'm going to do this, Lord. I'm going to purify, I'm going to purge, and then the next five minutes you in the club drinking and smoking and doing whatever you want to do. But, but see, do you want to use the scriptures? Oh, the Father said, you know, if I repent, you, he gonna forgive me seven times seven. Uh uh uh. His grace is sufficient for me. Oh, that grace got to run out. Your time clock is ticking. So let me tell y'all something. Y'all that's out here playing with the Father oh and playing with the Holy Ghost, Woo. he calling his spirit up out of your body. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Yeah. The spirit of Ichabod gonna resonate in your house. His house. Woo. His God. house. Let me mm -hmm. tell you something. That's why it was a change of the God. See, some of your big time preachers. Know that they've been doing wrong all Ooh. these many years, so yeah. he want to step back because he knows that the Father is coming for what what belongs to him. Jesus, this belongs to the Father. Hallelujah. So this is why a lot of your big name preachers is stepping back. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. The they, the they were calling and passing the baton. Passing the baton. What they doing? Passing the baton? Come on here. Come on here. That's a smoke. Y'all better wake up and smell the roses. I'm telling uh, y'all. The father done visit them in their dream just like he visited Pharaoh, just like he visited, hallelujah, all those other kings that, that, that said they exalt themselves above the most high. He's calling forth his anointing out of the body of those, hallelujah, that's using his anointing for they gain and they wealth. Y'all better wake up, I'm telling you. Jesus. Y'all better take this thing serious. Go ahead, go ahead, pop my side. No, I wasn't going to go here, but just in case we did, I got the scripture for that part too. Come on. 21. Huh? It's 3 through 21. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, okay. So St. Matthew, fourth chapter, verses 3 through 21, talks about exactly what you're saying right now. Uh -huh. Which uh -huh. talks about, let us not be deceived. Mm-hmm. Oh man, 
and also reminding us to not miss the rapture. Oh, oh. oh. people don't understand that th these feast days are really and uh what's that word baby they are the foreshadowing no 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 what's the other word they are uh what's it start with a d um it's uh what god do uh jesus holy spirit remind declaration? me declaration is that declaration or no it's not declaration I'm not sure it's not. um you're gonna bring it to me yes mm -hmm. Is it my God? Okay. It's a, it's a my God. I think I don't I don't know if it's a decree from I don't know if that's the word I want to use. My because God. these holy holidays are a uh demonstration. Is it demonstration? I don't know. I'm not sure where you're going. Oh Lord, Holy Spirit is right yeah. from <laughs> Ah, that thing is so good. Lord have it's mercy. Cool. Ooh, this is powerful. Wow, wow. It's so much heat up in here, Apostle. Look. <laughs> These folks got it's a wake up call. It's a 911 in the spirit. Right. The Father is literally trying to usher us in, hallelujah, and teach and train us and get us prepared for his next coming. Ah. They fail to realize that the things of this world has done away with. Now we are getting ready to enter into our spiritual realm. This is why he wants us to have. Hallelujah. These supernatural experiences. Come on, come on. So we won't miss the mark. Woo. So we won't miss the sound of the trumpet when it sounds. We cannot hear the sound of the trumpet if we are walking in our flesh bodies. Hallelujah. Right. Going against all the people in the body of Christ. My God. Backbiting. Like God has said. Hallelujah. They throw and stole. They don't nobody want to be a sacrifice. Don't nobody want to be a repair, the repair of the breaches. We just want to go on and doing our own thing in this hour. Mm -hmm. And it got to come to an end. Mm -hmm. This is why he said it's, it's very important. This is a 911 that we get in line with this whole this high holy day. Oh, come on. Oh, his holy day a divine. It's a, a divine yes. instruction for yes. like, to keep God's people intact. Ooh, like, in, in line. That's it. Yeah, getting us ready just like your steps are like you know when god has a divine connection yes Lord. someone like it's all the that's the word uh -huh. thank you holy spirit divine divine word mm -hmm. it's divine so yes, is this important that we know and learn these things because yes, it, it's god we can miss god and we, we, we can miss so much in thinking that we in the vine and hey. we, my be growing somewhere else outside that's it he don't want us to miss his divine appointment oh At my all. god mm -hmm. simple fact is see a lot of us paying more attention to the natural realm and everybody want to flow in the prophetic mm -hmm. what they don't understand is we've been saying it for years and years and years this word is prophetic all by itself uh -huh. if right. we read it with the option of the Holy Ghost, that's it right. will line that's up with what's already taking place. It's so quick. Right, right, right. The spirit will be quickened. Right. Yes. Be quickened. Just like how I was reading that, that scripture and I was quickened with the understanding. Like, whoa. Okay. Like, whoa. He will not want his children lacking anything. He said, look, he don't want us ignorant of, of no devices. He don't want us ignorant of his word. He don't want us ignorant. He said, if a man, any man lacks wisdom, ask for me, and I will give it to him freely. See, the wisdom that people are after of is the wisdom of wealth. The wisdom of, can I get this and can I get that? Right. That's not his wisdom. But what they don't understand, though, the wisdom of, of, of God and not wealth, you when, when you you are already rich in the wisdom. Right, of come on. So you have to be wisdom to have wisdom to to gain because he said he will give it to us. Like this is what God said he will give us. It comes with the territory. Those are our benefits. Mm -hmm. When we walk in obedience with the Father, those are our benefits. Just like when you've been on a job for so many years, you start to get more and more benefits. That's good. That's good. When you've been on a job five to six years, you know your benefits shift. It's like they give you more incentive. Yeah. But that's how the Father operates. Yeah. My God. Woo! This is why this is why I tell people they think I be I be playing. I don't work overtime in the kingdom unless he tells me to. That's Woo! right. I'm on I'm, I'm, I'm 
on his divine uh, uh, assignments. I'm on his divine appointments. And I see, work for him. He don't work for me. See, a lot of these people around here talking about, no, God worked for me. I, you owe me this and you owe me. No, no, no. No, no, no. no uh -uh. See, this is why many of us is in trouble right now in the body of Christ because we don't understand we don't understand uh, the ways of God because we don't have, want to have a relationship with him. We always just want the things of God, but don't want God. Right. We'll include God in our equation, and that's not where God is willing to take us to. That and, and is the inclusion. The inclusion was when you gave him a yes. Ooh. Oh, oh. The thing though, Ma, uh, what people don't understand is that when you were speaking about the benefits now, let's talk about how people that been doing what they supposed to have been doing, they at work and they doing what they doing, and then somebody new come on a job. Uh oh spirit. Somebody new come on a job and the same benefits that you're getting, but you're mad because you've been in, in, in this workplace for oh. years and years and years, and then you get mad when they come on the scene. Come That's on. How people that's how people do when God bring out a new face. When that face is supposed to oh. out, oh guess God. what? They're reaping the same benefits. They're reaping the same benefits that these people, your father. pastors, your have been doing this, you know, doing oh. preaching and doing all that. But somebody come on the scene new, Woo. they try to tear them down. They want to try to go against them. Come on. Holy See, Spirit. they don't even want to train. They don't want to train because they think they're being replaced instead of just doing their job. Focusing on what they need to focus on. And look, the only way the father will replace you is if he don't get you. You know how we get on the job and they, we had this mentality that, oh, I'm just here for a paycheck. Uh -huh. Them to be the main ones that be on their third strike and they say, okay, I've already sent your replacement in. Now, guess what? I'm going to have you to train your replacement. And once you get your replacement fully trained, I'm moving you out the way. Mm. And this is what the father is doing in the body of Christ. Uh -huh. He's replacing the replacements, and many of many people don't uh, don't like what's happening and what's taking place. If you mm. haven't been doing what you're supposed to be doing, you ain't got nothing to worry about being replaced in the body of Christ. That's that's true. This is great, and so this is a great segue back to making sure we understand that come tomorrow night, uh oh, sun goes down when we are 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 observing the feast of Yom Kippur. Right? Yeah. But but between then and right now, if we got all with our brothers and sisters, we gotta get it fixed now. Come on. Come on, right now. We got 20, 22, 23 hours good still remaining to make those phone calls. Say man, mom, dad, brother, sister, yes, son, daughter, whoever, forgive me. Yes, Lord. Forgive me. L listen. <laughs> yes, Lord. Woo. Yes, Lord. It's drawing nigh. It's drawing nearer. It's yes, getting water. Right? And how can you ask somebody to forgive you if you if we still haven't asked others to forgive us of my God? My God. That catch. When we go before the Almighty, we got to ask him, Father, forgive me of my sins, knowing and the unknown. unknown. Yes. God oh. knows. I may have hurt her feelings and didn't even know about it. Baby, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I forgive you. For real, for real? Yeah. Well, I need one back now. Okay, baby. I mean, it's it's, just said, look, it's simple. <laughs> simple instructions. It, it, and, but see, we can't get out of our own way just like, you know, the father. And I'm going I'm to be, I'm going to use myself as an example. And I know I probably, I, I don't say probably, forgive me, Lord. I've said some things to my husband. I knew that wasn't pleasing to the father. And guess what? When I went down to prayer, the father said, now you go on, now you go on repent and apologize to him. I love that. And when I got up and I begged for his forgiveness, because, because the father could have taken me out in any time between if I had not went and did what I supposed to have done and I asked for his forgiveness, the father could have called me out of my body right then and there. Right. right. I could have been on my last strike. See, we don't understand we don't like what the father said. We don't know the time nor the season or the day when he's gonna yeah. call us back home. Right. Yeah. We don't understand that, so he's given us enough time, like you said, to get it right with our brethren. Mm -hmm. if, if 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 the if the brethren, if you can't reach out to a certain family member or brethren or whatever, take it to the father. It's right. a spiritual thing. The spirit. Let me tell you something. There is no distance in the spirit. Come on. It's no distance in the spirit. 
Because that same hour when I when I told the father when I couldn't reach out to my ex-husband, who I have not heard or seen from in over seven, six or seven years, I told the father. I said, Father, if you if if you if you can send this message to his spirit that I forgive him, that you know, that I repent, even if the things that I've done, even though I didn't do anything, I still repented. It's not for him, it's for me, so I can keep moving in the spirit with the Father, so that the Father won't call me out of my body, so the, so the Holy Ghost can continue to dwell down on the inside, because the Holy Ghost is not going to dwell in no unclean vessel. Right. Especially when your heart is still right. And, right. And, and, the, and, people, and mm -hmm. the people got to get a greater understanding is that we must live a pure Come life. Come on. Not perfect. Uh-oh. Yes, Lord. But pure. Right. And we cannot expect God to shift us, to elevate us, to bless us if we are filthy as rags. Come on. Come on. Come on. So this teaching right here. Yes, Lord. I'm decreeing deliverance coming forth. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. This yes. teaching right here, I'm telling you. Yeah. Ooh, my Jesus. God. You know, my God. Yes, Lord. That. Powerful. If the word is real, right, then when it says that we are all bodies, that they're all, we're all in the same body, having, you know, different operations or whatever, right? If I stump my toe, my mouth should say, ouch. Uh-huh. Right? So this right here is a, 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 a test or a sign to show us, listen, are really in the body of Christ together. Ooh, Jesus. Right? I'll be out here hurting each other. My, my, listen, my. I would even tell people, uh, jokingly, of course, because they would ask me, man, listen, when it came to Job and all the things that he had to go through, right? When mm -hmm. it came to that hellish woman that he was married to, right? Because people said, listen, it would have been so much easier if God just took her away. But then here we go. We understand that God loves and appreciates divine connection. Oh, my God. Why? Because when she was his wife, because she is his wife, the two flesh would no more, they were now one. So oh. anything that was done to her would have also been done to him. Mm. And then he told the adversary, told Satan, listen, do whatever you want, but don't touch him. Don't take right, him. right. Right. And so guess what? Ooh, For that reason, God. he couldn't touch her either. So I want to say to you, Ooh. I am totally impressed by your testimony because that transparency was saying, listen, I, I I said some harsh words to my husband, but I went back and I repented. Ooh, I did. That no more. Yes, Lord. You, you, you know, my mom and my grandmama, you know, people like them who taught that, they ain't here no more. Right? So so we don't get a chance to see what that looks like anymore. So yes, I'm wow. yes. Keep teaching. Yes, Lord. Because yes. right, you know what? Sometimes the ministry ain't just the Bible, but it's what does my walk look like after this? Come on. Oh, say that, Pastor. Off. Say that, Pastor. Many are not living what they're preaching or teaching. They only preaching and teaching what you see and behind closed doors. They 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 like Dr. Well, Jekyll and Mrs. Hyde. They rituals. Mm -hmm. They doing rituals over over people name and over their pictures and all this demonic stuff. But remember, right. this is also why Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Right. 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 Listen, we're not sinless. Come on. <laughs> we're perfect. Because I promise you, the minute that we are, we're going to be back with the Father. Come on here. Oh. Come on Come here. On. Oh. In the meantime, the word says, judge not lest ye be judged. Yes, Lord. Woo. Let he without sin cast the first stone. Come on here. And what did everybody do? They all walked away. Mm. They dropped their stones and turned away. Come on. Yes. Yes, Lord. Mm. My God. Mm. Yes, Lord. So we see all that to say, listen, it's time out for the finger pointing. Yes, Lord. Ooh, ooh, we covered this last week. About the finger pointing. Isaiah 58. Yeah. The speaking vanity, the finger pointing. It's time out for all that. We got to get right with the Almighty. But before we can get all right with the Almighty, we got to get right with ourselves. Yes, and with brothers and sisters. Yeah, and and you and, and I'm glad you said that because a lot of us 
have not forgiven ourselves from what we did. Yeah. Some of us is still holding in that inner hurt. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, the father won't redeem me when we've already been redeemed. Right. The father won't, he won't accept me when we have already been accepted because he died on the cross for that acceptance and the redeeming of our sins. That's good. So therefore, uh, uh, That's good. You, you got people that, and, and, and it's like a cancer growing on the inside and they, not, they don't understand how to let it go. Forgive themselves. They don't know how to do that. And so we want to go and teach all these other things. But in reality, we need to teach about the things that's really taking place in the body of Christ, right. dealing with our mental illnesses and what we're holding in that's causing cancer, that's causing headaches, uh, that's causing high blood pressure. Come on. Christ, this is why we're going out of here before our time is because we are we are holding in things that should have been already released. Mm -hmm. And this is why anytime, as the scripture then told us, when the accuser stands before God, yes, God, God accusing us, you see what they done done? Listen, all we gotta do is stand up and brush ourselves off and say, but I'm saved by his blood. Come on, the Come blood. On. Right there, that part. The blood. That part. And, and see, that's what the, and see, that's what the enemy failed to realize. Yes. Right. When we confess our sin. There you go, right there. And believe in our heart that Jesus raised up for that. Not only we are saved, Come on. but God don't see us. Come he on. see his image of his blood. Ooh, right there. there. Ooh, mic drop. So, so when the enemy hey. trying to bring condemnation on you, yes. toward the father and say, look at this individual. This individual used to be a pimp. This individual was an adulterer. God says, I don't see them Come on, as girl. an adulterer or a pimp. Ooh, uh -huh. You're see yeah. my blood I because I covered him. And, and, and I don't remember their sins no more. Yes, we as people in the body of Christ, it's time for us hey. to let the enemy know who hey. we really are. Yes, Lord. She, we hey. need to let hey. the enemy know. Hey. 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 We need to hey. let the enemy hey. know hey. Hey. the blood. Yes, Lord. I, I don't care what kind of accusation the enemy is. The blood. The blood. The blood. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, the blood. Yes, yes, the blood. Yes, the blood. Yes, the blood. Yes, let me let me the hear something. God don't see us. You got to make come us. You got to make us. But he see the blood. The That's blood. right. That's why you said, Pastor, the word said, there's life. Come on. In the blood. In the, life in right with this flesh. Come on. Yes, Lord. Life is in the blood. Yes, Lord. Woo. Yes, Lord. Woo. Yes, Lord. Woo. Listen. Woo. Over this week. Uh, over this weekend. Mm. Um, we went uh to service and um i thank god for seeing me and, and just seeing me for for you know seeing his blood when he looked at yes. me yeah there you go because it was some some uh young ladies um that acted a certain way with me when i was there before years ago and to come back in the same beautiful place and the same individuals when they see me they were still acting the same way i said i said god what is this my god like like, like what is this because what it wanted to do it wanted to really really shift me and have me out of character uh-huh because they were being not only disrespectful they they yeah. uh, said something to my daughter and then like try to like you know say something to my husband but not me That far right there. I, I, I said, okay, God. I said, I, I said, all right, God. But you know what? I had to walk in there. I had to walk with my head high to let them know, baby, I don't care how you feel about me or what you judging me on or my past, baby. I don't care about my past. Yes, Lord. Is that they were they they were upset at me that I backslid when I did back then when I went back to to being a stripper. Why are you mad at me? My God. And, 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 and I'm just telling this story because this is part of my testimony. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You get prosecuted by people in the church. My God. 
You're going to get it. It's going to happen because guess what? Who prosecuted, prosecuted Jesus? The people that was in the church. Yes. Right, right. That thought that they had it all together. Right. Right. Listen, the thing is, is that I'm not ashamed to say what I've been through or what I have done. We should. Because guess what? It's freedom. It's deliverance. There you go. It's there freedom. You go. Difference with that. People be so ashamed about what they went through. Not Ooh. me. Why though? The blood. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and so, so yes, um, sir. you yes. know, I was just I was just hearing them like, you know, whispering, and they called one of their little friends over. I'm literally in the, the midst of worshiping God. The Holy Spirit said, Look. And the girl was just staring at me. And when I looked at her, she kind of like jumped, but she couldn't turn away because she knew I caught her looking at me. And mm. I just, that are like, I can't believe you still on this. Because uh -huh. I went back to, to dancing. And I said, I said to myself, I said, God, still to this day, I said, I see why her husband don't come to service with her. I said, because my God, he know how she is in these four walls. He know oh. how she at home. He not about to go sit up in no church with her and she's a, a, a hell raiser. My God. A See? hell raiser. I said, this don't matter. I was blown away. My God. Jesus. I could not believe that they were acting the same way. I said. My God. I said, this is crazy. How My people God. think they sit on the throne. How people mm -hmm. really think that they are God. But you know what? You know what else, too, um, Prophet Seer? God told us. Jesus. Jesus even told us they was going to do this. Mm -hmm. They're going to try to accuse you in their own name. My God. No, notice what I say. Not his name, uh, but their own name. Say that. Right. And anytime you, listen here, anytime you find somebody that want to put you in your past. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Always know prophetically that your future right now is at the door. <laughs> so when people bring up my past, the devil brings up my past, uh -huh. I give them the praise for the blood. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and don't forget Jeremiah 29 and 11. Oh, oh there you go. yes, Lord. Well, uh, Matthew, uh, Matthew Ooh. 4 3 through uh, 21. My God. I'm, I'm, I'm reading. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. We can, yeah. All right. <laughs> Peter, are you people to well, God I, I, to? You know what? Ask, why not? Why not? Because this is good. Yeah. You know what? Everything flows. All things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Mm -hmm. there, you go. Oh, there we go. Matthew, the 24th chapter, beginning at verse 3, says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples yeah. came unto him privately. Uh huh. Uh, saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming mm, mm, mm. and of the end of the world. My, my, and Jesus my. answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ uh, and uh -oh. yeah. me. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. Come on. Not yet. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Take it back to oh. verse where uh, the Lord is saying, for many shall come in, in, in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Mm -hmm. Meaning the that Pope many, one of them. Uh -oh. many will come and say that they have the spirit of the living God living in them. Right. The spirit right. of God living in them and be straight hell bound. Be straight, be straight bound, be sent from the, the, the pits of hell to come to destroy you, to deceive you. That's it. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Pastor. No, that's so it. Says, For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Uh huh. Are the beginning of sorrows. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Uh oh. And many be offended and uh -oh. shall betray one another mm. and shall hate one another. Mm. And many false prophets shall rise. More. Yeah. 
And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. My, my, my. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Hallelujah. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Wow. Yeah. When ye therefore shall see the abominations of desolations spoken of by Daniel the prophet. Now, that right there is coming from Daniel the ninth chapter, in case yeah. you were wondering, right? Yeah. But uh, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Mm -hmm. Let him the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Mm -hmm. Neither let him which is in the field return back to his clothes. Mm -hmm. And them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. Jesus. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not seen since the beginning of the world to this time. Hallelujah. No, whatever shall be. Yep, that's it. All right. My Amen. Amen. So, you know, the purpose of that portion was, as we stated again, reminding everyone to don't be deceived. No. Uh -huh. Not be right. deceived. And whatever you do, do not. Let us not miss the coming back of our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. We want to hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Yeah. Right? Listen, we want to see his face in peace. Yes, Lord. In peace. Yes. You know, I, I want to uh, elaborate on the dream that the Almighty God uh, gave me. He just reminded me, um, the one with uh, whoever, everybody called her Queen B, um, Beyonce. Um, that dream was so horrible. It, it was, it was so horrible. I couldn't believe the things that I was seeing. It was like I was behind the scenes mm -hmm. and just looking. You know how um, if whoever ever watched Ghostbusters, if you ever watch Ghostbusters and how they have those guns and destroy those demons and how they splatter everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is how the Almighty showed me in the dream how when people listen willingly, free willingly listen to her music, and how their mind get captivated by that spirit, the 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 marine spirit. He showed me the marine spirits. All of them are working with her, mm -hmm. right? Of their uh the stronghold. Now mm -hmm. we got. We got the, we got these different different type of demons, but the stronger ones are the marine spirits. Yes, people don't know that they My don't. God. Marine spirits are some spirits that you don't even want to tap into or get Come in the on. because those are some real strong whole demons. And that's where the word come in that they only come out by fasting and praying. Come on, Good come Lord. on. And God showed me, he showed me in a dream, in, in, in a dream, how the people of God who goes through the mind battles and, and stuff after they don't not even knowing that they're going through these mind battles after listening to this demonic merit go round record of hers. Mm -hmm. and, and it's in their mind and they and they not knowing why these these things are coming to their mind and attacking them, and attacking them in general. They don't know why it's happening. Um but it's because of listening to her stuff and so he showed me the saints praying and when they pray it's just like how on ghostbusters how you will shoot a monster and it and splatter <laughs> just me. That's what you just but it, it'll splatter for that little minute it'll be splattered everywhere for a little minute and what do it do it puts itself back together back together mm -hmm. it be it, it, it the, the prayers work but it don't destroy it the prayers that that the, the, the saints send off, it works, but it don't destroy because you can't just go in and just pray like that. You have to fast and pray. And that's what he just gave me, Lord. I know you're in a vein because this that's what the Holy Ghost was just telling me while you was talking. Mm -hmm. He said, that's where we get our strength and power from. Right. Listen. Fasting and praying. It, it strengthens our spirit, man, and it kills the flesh. This yes. is why a lot of people don't want to fast and kill the flesh. Oh, I'm just going to fast. And then all they do is talk about, Ooh. oh, I'm just losing weight. 
pe pe people don't people people don't understand a diet. <laughs> pe people don't understand that when you fast, you're not just uh, starving your flesh. Come on. Also, whatever spirit that, whatever demonic entity that, because we come in contact with demonic entities 24-7. 24-7. 24-7. So when, you, when we are fasting, we're not just fasting to... Uh, uh, to to uh, you know to kill our flesh, but right, right, right. demon, whatever demonic spirit that's trying to take part with you, right? Whatever demonic right. spirit that's trying to take part, you're also killing that thing because guess what? You're not giving it nothing. You're not feeding the flesh. You're not feeding your flesh, so it's killing off that demon. It's killing off whatever that may, it may be lust, it may be pride, it may be the the thing you know just demonic things, right? So, you're not doing it. You're killing that demon off too. That's why God said only, some only come, come out by prayer and because you are hungry in that demonic spirit and it can't feed off nothing. Right. You can't put your eyes to nothing so nothing is entering in. You're not letting your ears hear much so it's not entering in. You're not engulfing yourself in things so it cannot enter in. Right. Exactly. So in in this dream, you know, it was just so, I was like, I couldn't, I mean, I couldn't believe the things that I was saying. I woke up like, Lord, he said, tell my people. Because and a lot of people listen to Beyonce. A lot of they jam to her stuff, but not knowing that they're, they're being caught up in this, in this whirlwind and being right. wrapped in, in, in the marine world where these powerful demons are, and they don't know how to fight them off. They don't know how to use the proper, um, the proper uh, weapons to war these things off. They think it just speaking in their heavenly language is going to do it. No, baby, these are some heavy hitter demons. Right. Not praise to them, but God is warning his people. Right. That's like, put on the full armor. That means there everything. You go. Not to there cover you your go. mind, cover your chest, cover it all. Cover your feet. Like people don't understand. Ooh, ooh. That's why it's called the helmet of salvation. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm about right to go thoughts. to it. I'm about to go straight to it. And I'm, I'm Hallelujah. For the people of God. Because th this is why he didn't say just cover your mind and not cover nothing else. No, you got to put on the whole armor. You got to put on the whole armor. Cause that's where the battlefield is at, is in the mind. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Ephesians 6, hallelujah. Ephesians 6, uh, chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, my brethren, mm. be strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. And in the power of his might. Right. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Hallelujah. Against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world. Yes. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Yes, yes. And therefore, yes. having your loins girded about with truth, what is yes, truth? Lord. The word of God. With God word. Yes. And have it. I'm on fire. Yes, and Lord. On Woo. the breastplate of righteousness. Yes, Lord. And having your feet shield with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yes, the Lord. word is peace. It brings peace into our lives. Come Above on, hallelujah. All, taking a shield of faith. Believing what God says. Believing Come on. Her. Wherefore, ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of wicked not yeah. one at all so that means the marine spirit that means the animal spirits that means yeah. all the demonic entities these demonic, you will be able to yes, quench Lord. every fiery dirt meaning that that dirt is gonna go out before these things come on hallelujah yes, and Lord. take the helmet of salvation what is salvation Salvation is through Christ Jesus, believing in Christ, believing that he shed his blood for us. Yeah, yeah. 
He said, it's freedom. You've been redeemed. Yes, the Lord. And the sword of the spirit. What is the sword? The word, word. of yes. God. Yes, cut. Yes, Lord. Which is the word of God. Yes, Lord. Pray always with all prayers and yes, supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with all per, uh, perseverance. perseverance and supplication for all saints. Uh -huh. Not for some, but for all saints. Yes, so we have to understand, like, we have to really look out for each other. Like, you know, because the devil ain't going to do it. And as long as the enemy can have people's minds gone and Come have on. them against their brothers, uh, what is that that word? Um, so oh. instead of discard and hatred and all that stuff, who who they think we not gonna meet God like that? Uh, we not meet God like that. Little do people know that they are being deceived and making their bed in hell. Come on, Jesus. And this is what the this is what the Father told me. Uh, when I stepped out, y'all please forgive me. I had to step out and tend to the children. He told me. He said, "In this hour, in this season, we're not going to beg anybody to 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 join Christ to to come before God." Right. He right. said, "This is not." He said, "He's not forcing himself on nobody." Right. In this right. hour, he's not forcing himself. He said, "You have to make a decision, a sound decision, if you're going to be with Christ or you're going to be with the devil." Right. You. We got to make a sound decision. Yeah. Because God. it's too many of us losing our life. When we can just do what the Father is telling us to do and obey him, he, and he, that's what he just told me. Right. He said, we got to make a sound decision. decision. Right. It's a must that we make a sound decision on what side we're going to be on. He said, there's no lukewarmness. You're either going to be hot or you're going to be cold. My, my, my. Mm -mm 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 -mm. A lot of people, he said, a lot of people is going to miss their appointed time. Mm. Look, if they don't make a sound decision. Oh, my God. Jesus. He said their appointed time will be missed. God's divine timing. Mm -mm -mm. This That's is why a lot of us are, we, oh we keep missing our divine appointments and our divine timing in God because we have not made that, that sound decision. Oh, I'm going to serve you today, but tomorrow I'm going to serve Satan. Right. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it goes back to what the Holy Ghost gave me earlier about People are battling a lot of mental illnesses in their mind, and we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get these people. Their mind needs to shift. Right. We talk about so much warfare. We talk about what the enemy is doing. He says sometimes it don't be the enemy. It be me testing your, testing your, uh, your walk with me. Oh. Yeah. Good. He said I have to try you by fire mm -hmm. in order to let me know that you are really for me. My God. We have to be tried and tested in this hour so that he'll know are we for sure that we want to walk this walk. And he's already told us. He said what he said that the things that I've already went through, you're gonna have to go through them also. Right, right. Yeah. Double minded. That's right, man of God. Yeah, they are double minded. And, and the reason why, because you know why? They're not being taught the truth. They only giving a little, a little bit of bread, a little bit of what God, a little bit of God, and the rest of it is 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 is, 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 is not even real. It's imagination. It's oh, what feel good. It's what tickles your ear. It's what gets you through that one day, and then you go home the same way. You still bound. You still depressed. You still oppressed. And and this is why we need to use more discernment. And be more in the spirit so we can pick up on our brethren and sister in the body. Even Absolutely. though the father told, you know, he shows us people, give people by name. He'll show you a person. It ain't for you to go back and forth with the father who this person is. Why need to reach out? Just pray for them. Hallelujah. Just pray they strength. And if the father wants their connection to come, trust me, it's going to happen. Uh -huh. But now we got to sit the people down, reintroduce the Holy Spirit. Right. Get right. them, get them. Their mental, their psyche under control because now it's a war going on against good and evil in their mind and they can't make a sound decision. And they're going to miss out their appointed time because I, I don't know if I want to go back out in the world or if I want to follow Christ. And so he's saying you got to make a sound decision. But if we are out of order in the body of Christ, then this is why some of us can't make sound decisions. 
because we don't have that particular person that's supposed to be assigned to that particular person, right. picking them up in the spirit. But because we are selfish, self-righteous, and prideful, and only think about what we can get out of the deal, we miss out on our divine assignments with people. The Father showed me um, when we was at this local church, and he, when and, and when the woman of God laid hands because she had to, I had to be shifted. I had to be shifted to where God wanted me to be because I was out of alignment. And mm -hmm. so when the woman of God spoke to my womb and laid hands on me, and she was an authorized voice. When when I was down, when I was down, and he took me in the spirit, he showed me a line of people that is waiting on my voice. And he said, daughter, if you if you don't do what I tell you to do and you get out of alignment, all those people, blood gonna be on your hand. Oh God. So don't miss your divine appointment with those that I have set just for your voice. Jesus. So you have to do what I tell you to do, regardless if they, they throw stones at you, they talk about you, they don't believe what you say. He said, you're going to serve me or you're going to serve man. Are you going to please me or you're going to please man? He said, so what? Because that person don't follow you. So what? Because that person can't hear you. It's not the fact that they're supposed to hear your voice that they're supposed to hear the Holy Ghost that's in you. Oh. So we get the misconception that, oh, if you don't follow me, I'm going to condemn you to hell. You don't even have that type of power to put nobody in heaven or hell. Just don't. Right. Because it's only one, according to the book of Matthew. Come on. You got all these fear single the, apostles walking around. Has the power. He said, fear no man, but fear the one who has the power to throw your body and soul. Right. Right. And that's a problem right there in the body of Christ. I'm a witness to it. I used to fear man so much. I had to get delivered from oh, fear yeah. of man. Because yeah. a Jezebel, a Jezebel filled with a high-ranking witch spirit, hallelujah, had me up under her powers. Yeah. And the father, I had to go through a season of being humiliated and being controlled by a hierarchy witch just so the father can demonstrate his love upon me. And he tore down the evil altars. He tore down the fear that I was in fear of man. He said, daughter, fear no man. He said what you just said, daughter. He right, said, right, fear right. man. Fear no man that can put you in no heaven or hell. He said, but fear me. He said, but guess what? I, I, he said, I appointed that time. Right, right. I appointed that season for you to go through so that I can, so you can, I can draw you closer to me. So Hallelujah. you can know who I am. So you can know how much power and authority you even have. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. So we got to get these people to a place mm -hmm. and, and, and demonstrate the real trueness of, uh, of what Christ really is and teach them his ways. See, if you don't understand the ways of Christ, you 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 are not you're not gonna be you're not gonna be at your set appointment. You're gonna miss out on all your timing because you only want what God has for you. All the Bible states, all the blessings are yea and amen. Yes, they are, but there are also graphs, consequences, and other things that are written in the word of God that we right. also have to be attentive to. Right. Right. So he's giving us chance after chance to get our house in order and choosing whom this day, who you going to serve. Right. I want to speak on uh, uh, what you uh, elaborate on what you were uh, talking about, how the um, the, the uh, woman who was the, uh, you know, um, Jezebel. Uh-huh. So Jezebel is connected with the marine spirit. No. As I was speaking. Oh, no. Yes, yeah, come on. Hey, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, Father. Some people about to get delivered today. Yes, hey. come on. Y'all ever notice that when you come up against someone, right? And we say they have the Jezebel spirit, right? Oh, Lord. That person never gets delivered. Mm. The reason why is because it's not the spirit of Jezebel that we're fighting is the spirit of Baal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because uh, uh, the question from the question, who are you? Because once you know that name, now you can whoop that thing. Come on here. Uh -oh. That's it right there. That part. Whoa. That's what he had to do for me, Apostle. He had to teach me the ways of that spirit. Yes. That way I can take that spirit out. And, oh and my God. 
understanding that that Jezebel spirit is not only uh, connected with, okay, we have like the head. The head is Baal. We, the head is Baal, then it's Jezebel, and then it's everything that yes she she has. It's like a uh uh what you call that a um like mm -hmm. a tree. Uh -huh. right? or, mm -hmm. her, it's her and below is you know what she that has. mimic everything the father does, the Godhead. Uh-huh. You, you see what I'm saying? So the uh -huh. octopus spirit works with Jezebel like this, like yes. this are like this because mm -hmm. what it does is that she's taking orders from Baal. There you go. There you go. She's taking orders from Baal and then she is instructing the rest to do what it is that she took orders. Now take these orders and do what I need you to do. Because uh-huh. Not only is it a conniving spirit, see the octopus spirit, it wraps around your mind. Yeah, there you go. I don't there understand. You go. It don't just wrap around the body. It go for the mind first. The yep. spirit. And that's why, once again, Beyonce have these marine spirits. Yep. Two things that these other demonic entities cannot do. They cannot do. So that Jezebel spirit holds hands with the octopus spirit. That's it. And that's one stronghold that you're going to really have to consecrate yourself and be broken. I mean, you're going to have to go through. Ooh, come on. What you went through for those months and however long it yeah. was. Because I'm telling you, the un mm -hmm. that underworld, that the, the uh, marine spirit, them is some heavy hitter demons. Come on. Yeah. And they but, you know, a lot of people fail to realize too, daughter, when you walk in in deliverance and healing ministry, this is how the Father trained you hands on. Right. To know these demons. See, a lot right, of people right. don't want to walk in deliverance ministries. And I, when I tell you we have to go through that type of stuff to know them, these spirits, and call them out by name. <coughs> you, right. you know, you know, you know why we can identify these demons? Because once we were once bound with these demons. Come on. Right, right, right. I, I, listen, I when I, and I'm not who Jesus. My God, yes, Lord. Listen, when I was a stripper, Jezebel was my best friend. My God, because I knew how to speak. You, you, you. Listen, I knew yes. how to speak. Yeah, God. With, with that snake voice, I knew how to speak and wrap a man's mind. I yes. knew. I knew the ins and outs, so I know when Jezebel is at work. You can identify. There you go. Yeah. Because have, this thing is familiar. Uh oh. Yep. That's it. This yep. is this spirit. So the reason why I know witches and warlocks because I come from a family that had witches and warlocks, and and being a witch was something that I wanted to do. Ooh, Jesus! I, Help I, the people I, on tonight. It don't matter how much they cover up or try to cover up. No, you operate not a full blast witchcraft because I know the ins and the outs. There you go. It. My God, Jesus. And this is, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. This is why I know deliverance and healing is part of my ministry. It's yeah. part of my husband ministry. Yep. Yeah. It's part of it. Because I've been delivered from those things. Hallelujah. But I tell you that, 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 that octopus, that Jezebel, I'm telling that thing had a wrap on me. But God was like, let me break the grounds up. Hey, God. Let me break the foundations up, up yeah, God, off of your life. Because yeah. it won't be another that's going to walk in the footsteps of her. Yes, Lord. Come on. It won't be another that get caught up in the uh the web of, of this octopus. Come on. Yes, Lord. It, it, God had to literally uproot me up out of a city that I'm telling you, listen, God had to uproot me from Michigan because I was so wrapped up in, 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 in Jezebel. Yes. Oh no, I got to break the ground. Yes, Lord. That's it. I That's got what he said. To the concrete Come up. on here. That's right. And that, he, he literally, God literally took his hands and dug me up out of the soil of Jezebel. He literally took me and dug me up out of the soil of witchcraft. He literally took me up yeah. out of it. Mm, I was running to those things, like running to them. Every time I got hurt, I was running to those things. Yes, God Lord. literally took me, took his hands and dug me right up out of the soil. Yes, Lord. 
rest of the dirt that was on the heart. And let me place you over here. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Because that need to be delivered. I yes. need you to come out here in this new city and, and, and watch all these witches and pray against everything that they're doing. Come on here. No, because I allow you yes, to God. Yes, prove Lord. Yes, Lord. I allowed you to know witchcraft so you can identify it. Yes, Lord. When it's at work. Come on. <laughs> people don't understand. You You don't understand people's story. I, when I Listen. say I'm on fire from head to toe, yeah. I'm on fire. Yes, people Lord. don't understand people's stories. Yes, Lord. They want to judge people about their, their past and, and not knowing that they carrying your deliverance. Yo, your whoa, whoa. Say that again. My there is, God. It's so many people that God got me assigned to, but I can't move in yet. I can't uh -huh. move and, and, and give them a helping hand because he said, uh-uh, not yet. They're not ready. They ain't ready. Not ready. Ready, because I, I want them to be able to receive. See, you. There you go. That's I it. want them to be able to receive me. That's in you. Come on. Not reject me. So I'm. Let me. Let me go ahead and and deal with them. Let me deal with them. That's it. We gotta step back and let God deal with. There you go. Yep. Yep. When you come to yeah. the Lord, they're gonna be able to receive you with love. You. They're gonna be able to receive the deliverance that's coming for us. Yes, Lord. So people have to really, really understand, like, I played in that stuff. I literally saw roots come from an egg, a raw Ooh, egg. my God. Yes, Lord. Jesus. A raw egg. I literally cracked the egg open and saw roots come up out of it. You know, I told you I saw the egg. It's, it's nothing to play with. Come on. People Talk don't understand. Me. This is why God says, suffer not a wish to live. Yeah. The, the witches that that want to continue to stay in it that yeah. want to be the, the witches that know what they're doing the witches that sit there and 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 pray this is what they do they have these altars and pray they have these dead things and they do x y and z and listen this is why god says suffer not a, not witch. a witch to live and people be high fiving and, and and high fiving and playing with these witches <laughs> I'm not playing. Oh, this ain't season coming I up. Know this how, season. This ain't season. I know how real it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because once again, I come from a tree from my from my daddy's side. My daddy and them was warlocks. My heavy, God. heavy in the heart of darkness. You helping some people on tonight? Yes, Lord. My God. My God. Yes, Lord. My God. Oh, Jesus. But the blood recovered you. Ha, yes, Lord. Abashana. The blood recovered you. My God, yes, Lord. Because the Father said he called you his battle axe. He said you get ready to ah, oh, oh. He said you get ready to break up a lot of foul ground, woman of God. Oh, Shanda, he said you get ready to I used to go into my uncle's house. God, God, yes, Lord. Going to my uncle's houses, yes, and they Lord. would have six point stars on uh drawn in the basement with dead ravens dead crows yes, with their blood sprinkled around and i was looking like and they introduced they took me down there my god to be, to be a sacrifice but god oh. he didn't know my story hey god oh the spirit of god is on me hey, yes, 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 lord. yes lord hallelujah thank yes. you lord i'm helping myself too i'm helping myself yes in, lord in the same hour i'm not about to stop the spirit of god i'm about to continue to speak what he want me to speak what, what was, to in sacrifice <laughs> oh my god you in the vein yes lord. because they knew like this is going to be a prophet that <sighs> yes, lord. yes god Yes, Lord. That I am is going to raise up, but she's going to destroy. Yes, Lord. She's going to destroy y'all. Let me tell you something. That's why he got he many of us to train. He's training. He's he raising up a remnant that is not going to play with these devils that we coming after these demons. But he, listen, he's teaching and training. Some of us got to get hands on training. We got to sit in the enemy's camp to know That's right. what to do. How to identify the enemy. 
Look, you can't run from your calling. Many people that's running from your calling, that's why your house is flipped upside down. Let me yeah. you, you better stop running yeah. and do what thus says the Lord in this hour and this season because he's going to take that anointing and put it on another. My God. And when I say them demons came together, see, my, my, my daddy and them, they had the ability to make their eyes change colors. My God. Literally, like, flip, flip like that. Not just because they had color eyes. No, it's because of the, the, the things that they were tapping into. Woo! Woo! The My God. They, tapping into, they had the ability to flip their eyes from blue to white. I, I, I remember it like it was yesterday. My God. I remember they was going to sacrifice me. Jesus. It was my uncle. It was my dad. It was one of his cousins. Uh, it was one of their aunties on their mother's side because the mother was in it too. My now, God. Let me tell y'all, I come from a lineage with Indians and Jamaicans. Now, you, these two together are a, a, a one crazy mix because Indians believe in self-healing. They believe in, 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 in doing all these things to, to heal themselves and, uh -huh. and relying on God. Uh -huh. They're relying on other things. And Jamaicans, we, 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 we already know the roots of them. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And, combined my, my grandmother was uh jamaican and my grandfather was indian them two came together and brought forth the witches and warlocks because my this God. is where they came from this is where the tree that they came from and my mom birthed six children gave my dad six of us my god and we all when i say every child that my mother had by my by my dad we are prophets and we are seers but right now, a, a couple of my, my siblings are, their gifts are perverted, but God is using me as that axe to break. That's what he called you. He said you his battle axe in this season. He called you his battle axe. That's what I heard. Break. And, and, and they know these witches and warlocks, they know me when they see me. Yes, Lord. They may not say it to my face, but they're going to speak it out. Yeah. Uh trying to trying to bring confusion to my mind oh you you people call themselves seers and prophets no you know who i am you just confessed who i was and this is why we try to teach the people to learn your bloodline yeah so you can up so you can cut the roots yeah. dig up the yeah. you gotta get to the root see people think when you go through deliverance you just go through that purge one day and that's it oh no 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 you you gotta go through numerous generations i'm telling you 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 got you got some people that even in their in a family that literally would take things to their grave and won't even tell you what happened in the right. bloodline right. that part that but part. See, god can reveal those things if you go and ask if anything he said i would not keep my keep my my children in the dark oh, he it's would it. not withhold no thing from his children we are the not seeking the father and you going on and on and on like you know like there's nothing wrong and now your children children are being affected by the deep roots that you never plucked up mm -hmm. the other day the father had gave me a dream my god in a dream it was uh i'm gonna put the key up here the key how it looked it he gave me um it was uh four regular keys and he gave me this one this one was sticking out the most to me this key like that well what they will call it is the skeleton key he said no i i that gave you keys it's like you unlocking doors it's like you're uh it was four keys uh -huh. yeah yeah come on because he did me the same way with four keys. three of them three of them was regular so i'm <laughs> like okay so i'm just uh, uh these keys is to unlock some doors, but <laughs> this 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 key right here is to the main door. Uh oh. And I gave you this key because you know how you know, whoever saw Alice in Wonderland, uh -huh. how you know the key will open up one door, then the next key will open up that door, and then it'll open up the next door, and then that last door it takes that different key. That different God was giving me a significant that I gave you the keys to destroy everything that was planted in your lineage. Everything, everything. I gave you the keys to destroy the power of witchcraft off of your lineage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destroy all you 
strongholds off of your lineage. He said, I gave you the keys. Come on. Take them and use them. We and have I the same experience. That's the exact same experience. I lied to you not. Told my husband about it. The father gave me a golden key. And he said, this golden key right here going to unlock the big door uh -huh. of, your, of your generation. Because I come through a generation of seers and prophets. Uh -huh. And see, what my grandmother and my mother, and my grandmama even confessed out of her own mouth that she went to a witch. And, and the witch caused a curse on the whole family. And so because my mama didn't break the curse, my aunties and uncles them didn't break the curse. But when the father knocked on my heart at the age of 16, I answered the call and I broke the curse. But it took me years to find that key. And the, and the, and the kingdom of darkness did not want me to find out about this key. Mm -hmm. Because, he, because he, he told me, he said, look, you got principalities that don't even want you to see. My God. They didn't, they didn't even want the, the veil to come off of my eyes, my face, for me in order. But see, the father purposed it. I had to go through a lot of seasons of being attacked. Uh, I had to go through a lot of seasons of him training my eyesight. He said, uh -huh. I have to trust you before I even give you this key, but before I can place it in your hand. He mm -hmm. said, because I can't give it to you if you if you do the same things your grandmother and your mama done right. in right. your blood he said, I got to, I was scared when, when he told me that. I said, look, I don't want to operate in no witchcraft spirit. I don't want to operate like that. So I had to go through numerous of years of deliverance. When I tell y'all, I went through a lot of deliverance uh -huh. in my own home. You ain't got to go to no church building to get no deliverance. The Father shall deliver you where you are. Even these people on the line, if you want deliverance, it is available to you. Right now. Yep. If you want to be healed, it's right available now. to you. Right now, on tonight. And the Father, yes, I had to fight for my key. Yeah, yeah, I had right. to go through a lot of hell and high water to mm -hmm. get this key that was purpose and it was planned for me. And he said, once I gave you that key, he unlocked some things. Even He said, now, now I can do something throughout your generation. Yeah. But it's still something that I have to do. Guess what I have to do? I have to keep my bloodline purified. Right. Because, see, if I fall backwards, guess mm -hmm. what? It's going to attack my next three. He said, my next three to four generations. Oh. Uh -huh. And so he told me I have to keep this bloodline purified at right. all times. Yeah. Yeah. At all times. Yeah. And see, even still, when I have to cover, when we have to cover our children, because he had already shown us what was, what was put on our children. Uh -huh. That's why it's important that you seek the Father on people speaking into your life because they may not be your authorized voice. Oh, come on. They will cause a shift in your bloodline on, and cause your bloodline to be deteriorated or contaminated. Mm -hmm. And it will cause your generation. Because see, the Father said, I want to do something generational. But because we have we are ignorant of the knowledge of in our generations, and, and, and our generations is hiding information. But you know what I did? I went to the father. And when I went to the father, my grandmother didn't have no choice but to release what she released. Mm -hmm. So therefore, when she released what she released, I was able to identify what went wrong in the bloodline and come against it and break it. Mm -hmm. But it didn't, it didn't happen overnight, people. You got to understand deliverance and healing and breaking occults, breaking bloodlines and uprooting things. It does not happen overnight. No this more. is a daily thing that you have to do because yeah. guess what? When the Father show you one thing that got to be broken, it's going to be other numerous things. So therefore, you got to go through your uncles, your aunties, your grandmama, great grandmamas, hallelujah, your mamas, your dad. You got to go on your dad's side. You see what right. I'm saying? You got to go on both sides of the family because yep. the bloodline, it came together. Uh-huh. It came together. Uh-huh. So you got to go on both sides of the family and break up both bloodlines. You just can't do it on your mama's side. You got to go. And I don't care if you ain't never seen your mama, you ain't never seen your daddy. The father shall reveal to you the things that was in your bloodline and you, and he shall deliver you and show you how to break up that fallow, that, that fallow ground and uproot these things right. that's causing a breach in your bloodline. Oh, yeah. Jesus. This is why a lot of people really don't want to deal with healing and deliverance ministries because we do not play. Uh -huh. When you say you want to be delivered for real, okay, let's go. Come on. And it's, going to, it's 
it's, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a role when i tell you that this deliverance role is not easy mm -hmm. but if you obey the father and do what you need to do the necessities of going through your deliverance and being disciple and don't buck against and it's when i tell you it's gonna be hard and you don't buck against what the father is trying to do in your life oh it's too hard apostle i just rather give up but see, you don't understand that when you say you give up, that means you're giving up on your children. Right. You're giving up on your children's children. It's not about us. And me and my husband express this all the time when we come on live. It's not about us. Nope. Right. It was never about us. Nope. Right. It was, it's about the people that's drawing to our voice in this hour. Right. It's about, it's about helping those, hallelujah, get their deliverance get their healing so that they can fulfill, so the Father can fulfill the promises, hallelujah, in their lives so y'all can see the real, not, not, I'm not talking about how this call is included. I'm talking about the promises that was, that was given unto us in the heavens. So that we can experience heaven on earth because we can't experience heaven on earth because we're not doing it, we're not putting in the necessary work. Right. And, and and what people have to understand because I, I just feel like this is just so heavy on my spirit um somebody is asking a question like well what does this have to do with the feast days if we in mind in keeping the feast days keeping god feast days like a lot of things that we um a lot of things that we have went through would have not happened because you're alignment you are in alignment. What does he say in his word um, about the feast days? If you don't keep them, how he will cut you off. Oh, my God. What scripture is that, babe? Yeah, um, that's, uh, that's 23 at the very end. Yeah, like how he speak on, you said Leviticus. Let's go to it. Heard it right. Hold on. Yes. Like, the reason why we're talking about this because he's already given us the atonement. His blood has atoned us for these sins. But and so. When we go down for these next 24 hours with repentance and purging, it starts in the roots. This is why we're, we're delivering the message and we have to obey the Father. Some of you may not understand a lot of what we're saying, and this is why we always say you to take it back to the Father. Right. It all lines up with his atonement of repenting, fasting, and asking God to purify and purge you. And, and, and so your blood can be purified. And, and this is, uh, the, it's coming from Leviticus uh, chapter 23, 29, and 30. Yeah, from, from, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the very first that we uh, put up here. And this is so important, people of God. Like God is, 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 is his word is true and he needs yes. He says, for whatsoever so it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, Meaning uh, Yom Kippur, coming into Yom Kippur at 7 p.m. Uh, until when the, uh, when the sun goes down, until the sun goes down, until the, the, sun goes down the next day. Yeah. His, he shall be cut off from amongst his people. So, and whatsoever yeah. so it be that do of any work in that same day, the same soul will I destroy from amongst his people. Yes, Lord. Now, we are still here because of grace. Come we on. Take grace for granted. God forbid. Uh. No, all are coming into the knowledge God. of his feast days. So now that we know the knowledge of his feast days, don't play with it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Warning. God is saying don't play, don't tempt him because he will not be tempted nor mocked by Come evil. On. Yes, Lord. So now that we are opening up and the ones that are on this live, you can't say that you haven't heard it. Uh oh. God, and this is what God is saying. Yes. Is saying, don't play with God and concerning his feast days. Come because on. he won't play with us, even with his word. He's a sick day. <laughs> we we listen, he said you will be cut off from a Come on. Your and he said, in that same day, do not work. So if you're scheduled for work, listen, I can't come in, the X, Y, and Z. Listen, this is my religious belief, and you cannot hold me, uh, what, what is that word? Um, you can't hold me responsible because I keep these days. And this is what is going to have to happen in my household. Mm -hmm. 
because God is God mean what he says. He said you he said that <laughs> and who whatsoever so it be that doeth any work in that day. My God. Same, he said, the same soul will I destroy from amongst his people. Now, the destroy may not happen right away. Mm -hmm. You gotta right. understand that destroy may not happen right away. He may allow a sickness to hit your body and kill you. My God, Jesus. Because, My God. because we so, we so caught up in, in these earthly things and not keeping what God is saying. See, we were ignorant before because we had no knowledge. But right. now that we have knowledge of these things, it's a must. It's imperative that we keep these things. We keep his holy days. We be quick to get ready to, 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 to do some Halloween and dress up for some Ooh. Halloween. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Honey, we be ready in a tree as jeremiah uh 10 and, one, 10 and 1 speak on we be so ready to, to deck and fasten and do as the heathens do <laughs> but when it comes to god holy days we got excuses okay so this is what the father just just put in my spirit concerning that a lot of people is confused when you were saying that we're not supposed to work when he mean by don't not work he mean doing the work of satan mm. Listen, y'all catch this in the spirit. He's not talking about a, your physical job. He, he knows that we have to yes, he, yes, work he to, to pay bills right. and do all that. He was yes. saying don't do the work and the iniquities of Satan. That means oh. put away. Oh, my God, Lord. Mm -mm. No. He said, put away <laughs> working for Satan on that day because a lot of people. Woo. My God. Woo. Y'all always busting my head over here. It makes it. He said, <laughs> we're going to go off scripture. And, and this is why this is good that this teaching is happening. I don't, don't want to confuse the people on the line. No, no. Not saying, you know, don't, get off, get off Satan's clock. Just insist what he's saying. <laughs> doing, doing the work of Satan. <laughs> Satan is Praise the Lord that you know. <laughs> Ooh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Ooh. Listen, y'all, y'all, I, I pray, I pray y'all getting a greater understanding on tonight concerning this high holy day. I'm telling Ooh. you. When you when you line yourself up with the high holy days, I'm telling you, God going to show you some mysteries yeah. and break down some understandings. Hallelujah! That you never. He said, "Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard." So you, 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 this is why we're doing this in depth teaching yeah. on His high holy days. It's a must. It's a necessity that we fall in alignment and get a greater understanding of what He really wants us to uh, celebrate. That's right. That's right. Hold on, y'all. We uh doing we looking up this um okay, so we we can bring um understanding to the people of God and and to us all. Hallelujah! Yes, Lord. Jesus. Oh my God! He bust my head. On that. <clears throat> it, it is. Ooh. It's very important. Yes, Lord. Yeah. We, 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 we know the truth. Because you got to also look at be up against religion and tradition. God. And not because I want to see, he said, no physical work. I'm confused. I thought nothing. It, it, it's, it's, no, it's, no, it's no physical working, like no type of working at all. Right. The Bible says uh, no servile, right? Like, at, at, okay. 
So this day is considered what we call in the Bible a high holy day. This is a Sabbath, but it's more esteemed than any of the other seventh day Sabbaths, right? Even more so than Passover, which is a memorial, right? On Yom Kippur, it is so critical that you don't have your mind dealing with anything other than you and God. Because the word lets us know that it was on Yom Kippur that God inscribes your name into the book of life for another year. That's how important that particular day is, right? And so I would always tell people years ago, so listen, I only fast one day a year, and that's on Yom Kippur because that's when I give everything. Like, we're talking about afflicting your soul. Here we go. Yes. For you to go into a job and work for someone, right, while afflicting your soul, yes. right, but then you got to deal with their foolishness, uh -huh. but then you're still asking God, Father, I need you. Father, forgive me. But then the adversary comes at you even harder when you are at work. And so that's why the Bible said no servile work at all, right? Like we don't cook, we don't clean, right? Uh, my, my phone will be off. My television will be off. That's just me and God's time, right? Now, here we go. We don't uh, exhaust the children. Right. What I mean by that is the way I've always done it is once the sun goes down, I'm not eating until the next day when the sun goes down. Right. right. But children, I'll have them go as long as they can. Right. So here we go. So kids, children, from the time the sun goes down until in the morning, you guys will eat breakfast. Right. And then I'll get them lunch. Right. But then from lunch to the time the sun goes back down, can you all hang out a little bit more? Why? Because I got to teach them, mm -hmm. right? Like, so you just throw them into the fire or throw them into the water and expect for them to swim, right? It, uh, it's a gradual process, yeah. right? But here it is, and I get it. We don't want to scare anyone, no. right? But this is why it is so important that we all read this Bible for ourselves. Uh -huh. Because, you know, this ain't our grandmother's Jesus. And so, you know, that's what this all boils down to is, what does that look like for you? Uh -huh. right? Listen, I have to be ever so careful because here we go again. It's not my job to hurt or exhaust you because you belong to the Almighty. That's it. And listen, this is the word. These are the scriptures. Read it for yourself. Let the Almighty enlighten you, right? Yes. As Joshua said, for me and my house, this, this is what we got to do, mm -hmm. yes. right? All we can do is encourage everyone else as well. But no, I was loving that part. Listen, first off, we shouldn't be doing any work of the uh, the wicked. Right. Listen, right. come amongst them. <laughs> <laughs> but this has been amazing. And, and so... We understand for a lot of people, this is the first time they probably have ever heard of this, right? And so, one of the things that you know we're trying to put a shank or uh get rid of is the aspect that people think, listen, that was done away with, it is no longer valid, we don't have to do that anymore, right? But when we see in the word, when we look at Jeremiah was given the whole role. Uh -huh. We understand that from the beginning to the end of the scriptures, that all of it is the unadulterated word of God. Yes. Right? And, and, and so here it is. This is just a preparation room. Right. We're only getting ourselves ready, right? Praying that we're getting it right and that we're doing it right, but that in all things, the Almighty gets the glory. Yes. Right? Uh, <laughs> The scary part there is knowing that we don't know everything. Come on. Uh -huh. And so when you don't know everything and you're learning, listen, I can't expect 
kid in high school, you know, learning uh, 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 Spanish in, in, in the ninth grade, the 10th grade, the 11th grade, the 12th grade, and then I bring you over to Spain or over to uh, one of those countries in South America and expect you to have a conversation? No, it's not possible. This is going to be a life learning type of situation. Right. And I want to give people, you know, what they need. And that's why the word says, we can't expect for a new babe in Christ to start eating meat right away. Meat, right, 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 right. Get this milk, right? Get this mm -hmm. nutrients, and from there, we're going to start giving you some soft food, right? And as yes. time goes on, with the teeth that come through the gums, now you can eat, you know what I'm saying, something of more substance. And then yes. that, that is where the meat comes in. So, yo, at that being said, I don't mean to say, yo, we don't want to scare anyone, but we just want everyone right. to the word for yourself and get a better understanding but in all things we want to seek the almighty yes yeah. that's it you know hallelujah hallelujah but but i mean you know for whoever heard and whoever don't um quite understand about um Yom Kippur and what God is requiring. All you have to do, all we have to do is take it up to him because we don't want to be in error. None of us, you know, right. and make sure that, you know, our brothers and sisters, you know, are not in error at all. Right, but right. Take everything from this live that we back have. Back to the Father. Back to the Father. Because, you know, God ain't going to go back on his word. His word will right. not be to him void you know if he asking us just for this this 24 hours to not to be in in the facility of of working and putting our hands to work or doing things that that is is causing us to work mm -hmm. god want us to really Ooh, in this, this in this hour mm -hmm. like in this you know in his feast day in yom kippur is to become you know one with him commune with him and afflict ourselves in the midst of it you know god i don't i don't believe that god um want us to be working or going into workplaces you know but for, to each his own take it up to god take it back to the father god, god understand that we have bills and everything but god will also provide when we yes. humble ourselves mm -hmm. and do whatever it is that he requiring us to do right and, and the thing and let me say this and let me let me say this yeah. one thing. I, I do apologize um this is why the father really wants us to come out of the beast system this is why he's showing us how to get our own businesses right, right, our own right. Businesses, yeah. right so that we don't have to go to man and say hey i want to take off because that's good i yeah. celebrate these high holy days these feast right. days with the father so this is why we're trying to and, and you're right apostle we have to slowly give them a little bit you know put them on milk and then you know graduate them up until eating meat right um uh, so that they can get a greater understanding and yes we we tell people to take everything that we're saying back to the father so there won't be any error so if anybody on here don't understand or because the god is god is not the author of confusion right right if you know you have a job and your boss can't let you off you still that you still can and can uh worship the father even in your mind or on your when you go on your lunch break or set apart a time that you say okay lord when i get off of work that's gonna be your time your time and your time only you know, the, like I said, the father knows that we have jobs and, and we have children and we run businesses and everything of that nature. But don't allow that to be first nature to God. There you go. So, you know, when when you get that set up on time, yeah. and this is why I'm glad that, you know, I'm off those two days. You know, to right. God be the glory. I'm off those two days. And the father had already told us we got to drive fast. So, you know, that, that that's just for me. Everybody right. else that has to work, like my husband has to work, guess what? He's not exempt. He he made that set appointed time. Okay, Lord, when I get off of work, that's me and your time. Mm -hmm. That's me and your set apart time for me to lay before you with no phones, no interruptions. I already know that. So I know when he get off work, he going to the prayer room. He's going to be before the Father. That means Lena don't need to be nowhere near him. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's between him and the Father. So that's what we're saying you know, so people can get a better understanding 
of Love what it. we're really saying. We're not, you know, we're not trying to cause any confusion on the line or trying to get people, you know, in error right, of that right. nature. But please take everything back to the Father and talk to the Father and ask him, what is there I can do, Lord? Right. You know I have to go to work. What right. else is there right. I can do? Because That's the Father looked at your heart. Uh -huh. He knows your heart. That's not, that's if you really want to set apart a day of atoning, repenting to him, uh, uh, purifying and purging yourself to put, put to get yourself back in alignment with the Father. Go ahead, Apostle. I do apologize. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no. This is great. And what I was going to say is, you know, uh, I'm grateful because the Almighty would not ever put us between a rock and a hard place. Right. 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 First is just, he is merciful and he is good. He is just that. And so, you know, I, I was thinking as you all were talking, right? And I wanted to uh, show people, because I'm quite sure the question is probably also popping up. Well, uh, why not from like 7 a.m. to like, you know, uh, uh, 7 p.m. or whatever, right? And so we understand the 24 hour piece. And so when we say um, on the 4th of October, mm -hmm. it goes down. I want people to understand why we're saying when the sun goes down, right? Because now we got to take it back to Genesis. Right? Oh, there you go. The, and God said that he created, no, he created the day, right? right? There was darkness. And he separated the darkness from the light, the darkness he called night, and the light he called day. And the night and the day was one day. Right. right? So in the based off of the hebrew fashion of the way things go right the night is the first part and the day is the second part right so once the sun goes down until the time the sun goes down 24 hours later that's considered one day right, right. i was saying here we go tuesday night and wednesday and so you know that's just how the almighty he started it, and that's why the rest of his feasts are set like that. Where he says, "From even, un, from evening until evening." <clears throat> and I just wanted to, just to make sure you know, in case anyone had any questions or whatever, this is the reason why it says from evening to evening. Right. What do you say? Scriptures say, "Don't do anything. Keep it holy." And you are correct, man. And God, the scriptures does say, "Don't do anything. Keep it holy." You are right. You are right, but we were just clarifying that. What else did he say? Does working go against your beliefs? I mean, listen. <laughs> I'm not on here to debate or go against what your beliefs are. Uh, you, you know, whatever your beliefs are. But like I said, take everything back to the Father. We don't, we're not going to be on here debating, going back and forth about what the Word of God is. Yes, the, the Scripture does say, "Don't do anything. Keep His holy. Keep His day holy." Yes, you are correct. I want. I want to pray. Or you want to pray, man of God? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just want to stay on track and not get off track. Yes. Because this, this <laughs> life is beautiful and God for his knowledge i thank god for his revelation and understanding yeah. i thank god for it so heavenly father i just thank yes, you Lord. Father, hallelujah together father god and and, and speak days father god thank you for giving us the ability to keep your feast days father god yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Father god. hallelujah and in the knowledge of what you are saying, Father God, about your feast days, Father God, because they are your days. They are your holy days, Father God. Yes, so Lord. We, yes. God, we thank you for putting it in place for mankind, God. Hallelujah. Now, Father God, I lift up uh, our leaders right now, Father God. Hallelujah. I, Hallelujah. I ask that you strengthen them, Father God, and every fire with dirt that comes towards that way must be put out. Hallelujah. In the no weapon formed against them will be able to prosper. Father God, I thank you for the glory and the glory that you are taking them. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. them, Father God. I thank you for strengthening them, oh God. Hallelujah. Take your strength over their lives right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, yes, I Lord. the favor that rests upon their lives, Father God. Yes. I Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
individual, Father God, that is on this line, Father God, I ask that you touch their hearts, Father God. I ask that Hallelujah. you touch them. I, I ask, Father God, that you give them peace like no other, Father God. Yes, I thank Lord. You, God. And Father God, I even lift up my man of God, Father God, up to Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. And everything that he had poured out, God, that you pour back into him a thousandfold, Father God. Even Hallelujah. Him, I ask In the name you, of Jesus. Father God, yes. Father God, a thousandfold, Father God. And we thank you, Father God. We bless your precious holy name, yes, God. Lord. Hallelujah. You, God, that what you have in store for us, oh God. Father God, yes, we thank Lord. you, God, for washing us, Father God, with your precious blood, oh God. We thank you, Father God, that we don't have to do animal sacrifices no more, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. I on the animal to cleanse us, oh God. We thank you because your blood had did it, Father God. And we thank you, oh God. We thank you. We bind yes, the Lord. Right now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Attack right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Rosh Hashanah, oh God. I mean, I'm sorry, not Rosh Hashanah. Yom Kippur, oh God. Father, yes, God, we ask to cover your people, oh God. Yes. Keep, right now, Father. Uh, keep them safe from every trap. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In right now in the name of Jesus and we declare victory because we are victorious in you, oh God. In Thank Jesus. you, Lord. And we seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. We seal up every crack right now with the blood of Jesus. We close every portal. Every yes, Lord. Right now, Father. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, God. In your precious holy name, by the power, by the blood of Jesus, in his Holy Spirit, we say amen. 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 Yes, we Lord. thank God for... Hallelujah, this awesome teaching on tonight. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We give this night praise. We want to thank you, Pastor. Yes. Thank you, uh, Seer. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah for allowing the Father to use y'all mightily. Yes, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah Lord. on this end time teaching. People of God, we must always keep in mind that we keep the Father first. Yes. yes. In everything, in Hallelujah. everything, keep him first, and there's nothing that should come before him. Hallelujah. We thank you all once again, everybody that's watching us. Hallelujah. That's coming in to watch the replay. Hallelujah. We just, we just so excited. This has been an awesome teaching. Yes. Hallelujah. We just pray the mind shift this yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deliverance to come forth. So we want to say thank you all, everybody. Hallelujah. Yes. May God continue to bless you all. Yes. Seriously, everybody, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to close this all out. Join us on next week. We got, yes. we got another awesome teaching coming forward, y'all. Yes. I'm telling you. Yes. The Father yes. is on fire in this hour, in this season. Yes. And he don't yes. want us left out, left behind, or ignorant of, of his knowledge and his truth. Yes. Continue to be blessed, y'all. We love y'all. And good night. Good night. Thank yes, you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>